In this video, we're going to look at a question by one of our users, Michelle VFX, about rendering out the diffuse and the front and back scatter passes in the advanced compositing workflows with Maya and After Effects course. So this is a scene from the project files for the advanced compositing workflows with Maya and After Effects. And I've just gone in and deleted out some of the render passes as well as the custom color buffer nodes so that we can walk through reconnecting those. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our render passes. <coughs> I'm just going to make a note that I am setting these up on the color pass render layer. So I'll open up the render settings, come into the passes tab, and we're going to want to create some custom color render passes. So let's create some new pass here, and it's just going to add a custom color. Let's click create, and I'll do it two more times because we're going to want to create three custom color passes. One of these is going to be for the back scatter, one for the front scatter, and one for diffuse. So just double click on these and then I'll come in here and rename these so we can know what each of these are. So this will be the back scatter. This will be the ant front scatter. And this guy here will be the ant diffuse. Okay. And now we want to go ahead, hold down shift, select all of them, and I'll associate these passes with my render layer. And since we have some contribution maps set up on our render layer, let's go ahead and associate these passes with the ant body render map or contribution map. Okay? Okay, so now that we have that set up, next thing we want to do is to come in and actually set up a right to color buffer node. And that way we can um, actually write out the color information for those passes. Okay, so this is the MISS fast shader for the ant body here. Let's go ahead, come to create, and it looks like it's getting cut off in the video here. So let's just pull this up, come all the way down to mental ray miscellaneous, and create a right to color buffer node. Okay, now that I have that created, can actually come in and I'll just duplicate this a couple times because we're going to need one for each of our render passes. Okay, so for this guy, I'll double click on it, open it up, and we'll rename these so we know which one is which. This will be our front scatter. This one can be our back scatter. And this one here can be our diffuse. Okay, so now the process for connecting these is going to be to middle click on our subsurface scattering node here and drag it into our color buffer node. I'm going to come down and choose other and that will open up our connection editor. And now since we're working with the front scatters, we can see here on the right hand side, I'm going to scroll down till I see the front result and connect that to the color input. And do the same thing for our backscatter. Now let's middle click and drag it onto our backscatter color buffer node. Scroll down, and this time we're looking for the back result. And connect that to the color. Okay, and once again, we'll go ahead, middle click, and drag this on. Choose other. And we'll use the diffuse result and connect that to the color. Okay. And now in our right to color buffer mode, we can see we have our custom color pass. So let's go ahead and choose, this is the front scatter. So this will be the ant front scatter. For the back scatter, we'll choose the ant back scatter. And for diffuse, we'll come in and choose the ant diffuse. Okay, now before we actually render this out, there's one more thing I'd like to check. And that's in back in the render settings, just wanna come in and make sure that the quality, under, under the quality tab, come down to the frame buffer, make sure we're rendering out as a 32-bit image. And also, I'll come into the comment tab, make sure that our image format is something that can actually support a 32-bit image. So let's change this to, say, an HDR image. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and batch render this out. So I'll go ahead and do that and pause the video while it renders. All right, let's hop into Explorer now and into the Images folder. Let's take a look at the renders that we got back. Now, since they are HDRs, we're just going to go ahead and open up Photoshop so we can view these. Here's our backscatter image. 
our ant diffuse and our ant front scatter image here. All right, so that's a look at how we can use the right to color buffer node to render out the front scatter, back scatter, and diffuse passes. Now, if you want to take this further, I'd recommend checking out the full advanced compositing workflows with Maya and After Effects course, as that'll walk you through how you can set up some of the other render, render passes, as well as taking all the passes and compositing them together in After Effects.